Amber, I've known her for over five years now, and uh, she has, I would say, excellent uh, leadership skills, and uh, she likes to improve things as uh, she finds problems. She'll try and solve them. Uh, we've done several QI projects through the long-term care initiative, so I've known what she's done for QI, uh, with QI for long-term care. And uh, so, as I mentioned, her leadership skills and uh, her uh, QI skills, so uh, a few things I would mention is uh, there are times when uh, you're looking at the leadership to uh, find a solution when you have a big problem and you have to decipher where the problem is and she can pick on the nitty gritty and the small details and uh, uh, lay it out to you so simple that you understand where the problem is so then it's easy to see the solution. Uh, one thing which I appreciate she is doing is uh, um, inclusion and cultural sensitivity. That's a QI project we tend to work on. I faced many uh, cultural problems and uh, 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 discriminations along my road as an IMG and she pointed on things which in long-term care like how patients or residents face, uh, residents by residents I mean um, people living in nursing homes, how they face problems uh, when they're not uh, of the same culture. Um, the compassion she brings on the table uh, and the passion for the, the, the long-term initiative uh, and also hospitalist and family medicine in general is uh, appreciated and uh, despite having uh, kids and uh, she's able to commit so much time and uh, I find it difficult and I don't know how she does. She has a lot of energy and uh, yeah, I think that's something I can replicate from her. I'm very honored to be nominated for award with the division of Fraser Northwest. Um, quality improvement is something that as physicians and family physicians in particular, we always need to be striving for so that we can continue to provide the best care possible for our patients and residents. One of um, the big initiatives that I've been very involved in is the long-term care initiative in the division and as well as in long-term care in Fraser Health. And so we've been running educational sessions and support for physicians to try to increase confidence for physicians working in long-term care settings. And that has included monthly rounds, conferences, and specific uh, CMEs for our long-term care initiative doctors. And our long-term care initiative doctors have been so wonderful in taking and working with residents, and that's really supported the knowledge base um, that these residents have been able to learn about long-term care. Thank you again so much. I really appreciate uh, the nomination.